This is Mrs. Niebergy, the CTE specialist at Charleston High School. The second portion of our cooperative education class is the interrelated cooperative work program. And a student must be enrolled in the cooperative education class to receive credit for the work experience. There is an application process that must be completed, just like with the co-op class, the co-op work is included in the co-op program. So one application, one agreement, six teacher recommendations for the cooperative education class slash work. The work portion of the program is the related work experience program. And the work experience should be related to the student's future career, but students more than likely will learn and gain just valuable employability skills. Many students will use a current part-time position that they have, or they may seek out um, a business within the community that they have an interest in working for. Most of these students are more uh, interested in earning a paycheck. Students should be employed at least 15 hours per week. Attendance is very important. Only students with good attendance will be considered for the program. Written training agreements and individual student training plans are developed and agreed upon by the employer, the student, and the coordinator. The coordinator, student, and employer assume compliance with federal, state, and local laws and regulations. A student must be enrolled, again, in the cooperative education class to receive credit for the work portion. Uh, this portion is also only offered to seniors, uh, 36 weeks, so a year-long uh, one credit.